hey guys welcome back uh, in this video we will be covering header injection and header removal so these are the policies which we will be applying on one of our uh, previously created api specification through api manager first we will be covering the header injection and then we will move towards header rejection so without any further ado let's open our anypoint studio there is a slight change uh, which I have done. Uh, so this is uh, my credit card app and within one of the logger before uh, ending the get operation, I have just added, added attributes dot headers. So this is being used just to uh, write down the incoming headers or the input uh, uh, headers, inbound headers basically. And I have deployed the same version of this credit card into uh, runtime manager. Now let's quickly open the endpoint uh, millsoft.com that is uh, the platform and let's go to the API manager to apply the policy quickly. So this is the credit card and I will click on the version 1.0 and I will quickly go to the policies and click on apply new policy and here you can see the header injection I will select the uh, the latest one allows header injection during the message processing okay I will click on the configure policy so here it goes uh, inbound header map uh, you have to uh, provide the value in key value uh, pair and it will be injected at the beginning of message processing and this will be injected at the end of message processing so having said that let's put something like this inbound underscore h map uh, I will say incoming and outbound underscore hmap uh, I will say outgoing I will click on plus sign I will click on plus sign and I will click on apply this will be applied on all the uh, API methods and the respect resources so uh, let's have a quick look on uh, what we have configured I will click on view detail and you can see inbound hmap and outbound hmap incoming outgoing should be there so what I will do now this is my uh, credit card uh, API URL and I will be sending for the get method I will click on send and let's see so here you can see the outbound hmap uh, which we have configured it is coming as outgoing but what about the incoming uh, HMAP properties? So for that, uh, we have to check the logs. So I will go to the runtime manager. I will click on credit card app, go for the logs. So the incoming inbound prop oh no no not the inbound prop one second guys so i am sending both inbound map and inbound prop along with that inbound prop inbound edge map is coming up mm. this is what we have set okay and inbound map i need to look for that as well one second inbound map as well so we can see all the three properties uh, which we have set but this one is coming from the uh, policy side whereas inbound prop and inbound map these are being sent from our uh, from our postman side so let's see if what if i delete these two i will click on send button once again you can see the outbound HMAP is outgoing and we should be able to see one incoming as well. Mm. So inbound HMAP you can see now is incoming. So this uh, particular use case uh, show like uh, how to set the inbound uh, header map and the outbound header map properties in the key value pairs. So this was for the injection and this outbound HMAP was populated after the execution of uh, the message processing whereas the inbound uh, HMAP was created 
before it started the message processing so similarly what i am going to do now uh, i will go back to apm manager and i will remove the existing uh, header in injection and will apply rejection uh, policy header rejection so i'm going to delete it remove yes and apply new policy i'm going to have this header removal i will select this configure policy so inbound header map so what uh, i am going to do this time i want something like inbound underscore map which i am sending one two three four five it should be deleted so inbound underscore map and from the outbound as well i want to remove i don't want this uh, h map as well so i will put uh, over here and i will select apply configuration to all methods and resources i will click on apply so this is done let's go back to our runtime manager I will select this credit card app and will go to the locks. So this is the live one and what I will do. Here you can see as well like uh, some header policy header injection unapplied. Okay. It is showing like that. So what I am going to do, I am going to hit this button now. So as a part of header removal, this outbound edge map is now removed from the outcome and let's check out for the inbound uh, map as well. So this is our request received and here I am not able to locate the inbound map, right? So uh, this policy worked perfectly fine. You can use it accordingly whenever and wherever you want uh, header specific values to be injected in key value format injected or uh, removal is being required so as per that you can uh, configure your uh, policies i hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching